If you are a real estate professional and planning to make your first job switch, this video is for you. So, stay tuned till the end of the video. joined the industry working for a while now one of your colleagues or someone in your friend circle has changed to job with amazing salary high he is happy and sharing about his journey now you started to think whether you should make a move let's discuss about it job change is not a mandatory thing every person and his or her situation is different from the other let's see what are the most common reasons behind job change first job change is not exception all these reasons are valid for the first job change also most popular reasons are are, number one, not satisfied with your present company. You don't like your present company. You expected a better management, a little bit more activities in company. It has an all work and no fun attitude. Many of your colleagues like it, whereas you expect more events. Even the situation could be reversed. You are a reserved person and the office conduct a lot of activities. You don't like the environment. Whatever may be the reason, you want a change. Number two, looking for a better pay package. You love almost everything about your present job. Amazing Amazing ambience, friendly boss and colleagues, very less office politics, amazing work-life balance, although salary hike is not good. For last three financial year, even after appraisal, it seems your salary stuck at the same range. You want a better pay. Number three, you are not enjoying the job role. You don't enjoy the work or project you are in. You have just grown out of your current role or your skills don't match up to your personal interest. You often feel stressed and tired because of the situation. You try to find a different job role in your company and no positive results came. You are looking for a better job role where your potential are utilized and lead you to more opportunities in future. Number four, you have your personal reasons. There might be many personal reasons, any reason which is beyond your control and at the same time is hampering your life. It might be office politics, might be work-life balance or work culture or anything. Number five, when you want to pursue other goals, you have some other goals in life and your present job is hindering it. Number six, many times a company faces business downtime which means financial crunch in such a situation initially any company will try to manage the crunch and restore the equilibrium although after certain period they are compelled to lay off some of their employees if you see your company is coming hard on expenses and many of your mid to senior level managers are leaving the company there is a sign that some financial trouble is there you might start to look for a new job number seven you feel undervalued you feel undervalued in your present company this might be general culture of the company None of the employees feel valued, so they are not that motivated to do the work. Another scenario is you are facing politics and they just don't want to give you credit. This is basically psychological pushback. One part in you want to protest, another part in you is completely frustrated and sad. Gradually, you lost belief in your company. In my opinion, it's better to leave toxic people and toxic ambience behind. If you believe that you can do something better than petty office politics, then go for it. If you have any or many of the above reasons, you might plan to change the job. When you look for job change, you must assess your situation with utmost sincerity. Once you have decided to change, start preparation. That is, prepare your CV or resume. Number two, start technical preparation. And number three is taking HR preparation. Preparing your CV or resume. This is your first job change and most important part of your CV or resume is your work experience. Whatever you have done in these few years, list it properly and mention it in the CV. Use generic terms so that that everyone understands. Don't mention any term that indicate anything confidential. Remember, remember, you have signed a non-disclosure agreement with your present employer. Also take good care in writing the CV. It creates good impression. Since you are a salaried person, if needed, take professional help. Number two, start technical preparation. You are one job old now. So the first question you will face regarding your job role. They will ask you many questions to understand how much you have understood your job role. If your understanding is clear, it's obvious that you are a person with technical capabilities and logical reasoning and obviously you can learn new things. So, probability of getting hired is high. During interview, multiple technical person may ask you same question. It's because all of them want to judge your capabilities from different angles and when the panel meet post-interview, they can get 360 degree idea 
idea about your job role and your performance to rate you. Number three, take HR preparation. Be well prepared for HR interview. Since you are experienced now, first question you will face is, why do you want to change the job? Prepare the answer, never be too personal. Even if you faced harsh politics, don't utter a single word about it. Limit your answer in better work opportunity or what you see great in the job role or what you see great in this company. We have listed some common HR questions such as, tell me about yourself, why are you interested in this position, why are you leaving your current job, tell me about your strength and weaknesses, where do you see yourself in the next 5 years, what do you know about our company, why should we hire you, what question do you have for me. These are most cliche questions but trust me in every interview we have faced almost all these questions. Even you will face them. Actually they want to judge you as an employee and as a human being. As HR team is responsible for managing people and keeping an equilibrium in the office ambience. Start looking for job when you are absolutely sure that this job change is necessary as too much job hopping is not good for one's career. You need to spend few years in a company or job role to build up a solid work history. Otherwise it's hard to demonstrate your abilities and value to potential employer. Job hopping can also lead to gaps in your career which can be viewed negatively by employers. As a thumb rule, start looking for a new job before you desperately need to. You will need to work hard for 3 to 6 months to find a better role. Hope today's episode will help you. All the best from us in advance. If you have any question in your mind, feel free to post in the comment section. We will be happy to help you with best of our abilities. That is much for today. We will be back with another episode of QA. Till then, stay tuned, stay focused. Thank you.